Urtic area, clinical appearance. Urtic area is characterized by sudden appearance of wheels, angioedema, or both. A wheel is a sharply circumscribed, superficial, central swelling of variable size and shape surrounded by reflex erythema. It is associated with itching or burning sensation and of fleeting nature, that is, it resolves within 1 to 24 hours. Chronic urtic area implies duration for more than 6 weeks. Angioedema Sudden, pronounced erythematous or skin colored swelling of lower dermis and subcutis with frequent involvement of mucous membrane is termed as angioedema. It may be associated with pain rather than itching and with resolution is slower and can take up to 72 hours. Classification of chronic urtic area subtypes Chronic spontaneous is characterized by spontaneous appearance of wheels, angioedema or both for more than or equal to 6 weeks. Inducible, mostly physical, is characterized by symptomatic dermographism, delayed pressure urtic area, cholinergic urtic area, cold or heat urtic area, solar urtic area, aquagenic urtic area and contact urtic area. History includes time to onset, frequency or duration, diurnal variation, associated angioedema, associated pain or itch, hobbies, stress, quality of life impact, response to therapy, induction by physical agents or exercise, family history, previous allergies, surgical implantations, gastric or intestinal problem, drug history, correlation with food, correlation with menses, smoking, work profile, etc. Examination Due to evanescent nature, the examination may not show any lesion. There may be presence of wheels of various size and shape. The lesions are non-scaly but show an intense erythema and a trailing clearing region in older areas which may lead to a target configuration in expanding flex. Differential diagnosis of urtic area includes insects or bed bug bites, urticarial vasculitis which may be painful, persists for 24 to 48 hours and fade to leave bruising. It may be with or without fever and arthralgia. Another differential diagnosis is pre bullous phase of bullous pancreatoid, maclopapular drug or viral rash. Investigation Generally, no investigations are needed to confirm the diagnosis. Skin biopsy may be indicated if other diagnoses are being suspected. C4 and C1 inhibitor quantitation to detect C1 inhibitor deficiency may be done in suspected hereditary angioedema, that is angioedema without urtic area. Test for current or past viral, bacterial or parasitic infections should be guided by history and clinical findings. Lab tests may be needed if the patient is planned for immunosuppressive treatment. Certain investigations that are often ordered but are of limited utility include thyroid function tests and anti-TPO antibodies, autologous serum skin test, skin prick or specific IgE test. Management General principles of management include reassurance, that the lesions remit spontaneously in 12 to 24 months in around 50% patients. Treat with antihistamines. Reassure that prolonged treatment with long acting non sedating antihistamines is not harmful. Non sedating antihistamines like cetracin 10 mg, levocetracin 5 mg, loratadin 10 mg, or fexofenadin 180 mg once daily is the mainstay of treatment. Dose can be increased fourfold safely if needed. Long term first generation antihistamines like chlorpheniramine, hydroxyzine are avoided if possible due to risk of sedation and psychomotor impairment. Avoid triggers including drugs such as NSAIDs, paracetamol, AC inhibitors if history is suggestive of drug induced or exacerbated urticaria or angioedema. Treatment of urticaria angioedema at primary care level involve the first line treatment involves second generation non-sedating antihistamines. If the symptoms persist after two weeks, 
second line treatment involves increased dosage up to fourfold of second generation antihistamines. If the symptoms persist after two to four further weeks, referral to higher center is required. Severe urticaria with respiratory distress requires maintenance of airway, injectable and hydrocortisone and phenyramine, intramuscular adrenaline of 1 is to 1000 dilution, that is 1 milligram in 1 ml, 0.2 to 0.5, that is 0 0.01 milligram per kilogram in children and the maximum dose is up to 0.3 milligram. Intramuscular adrenaline is administered intramuscularly every 5 to 15 minutes if choking, respiratory distress or shock is present. Angioedema with respiratory or laryngeal symptom requires emergency management. Referral to higher center after vital stabilization, oral prednisolone may be initiated to take care of biphasic response. Refer to higher center patients whose urticaria is difficult to control with antihistamines despite fourfold higher dosage than the licensed dose of cetrizin, levocetrizin, or fexofenadin. Then, patient with polypharmacy, unusual urticaria, that is, long lasting lesions, 24 to 48 hours with bruising, associate angioedema, that is, unresponsive or present with choking or dyspnea, and investigations are not available in the center. Such cases require referral to a higher center. Management at secondary care level. First line includes second generation antihistamines. If the symptoms persist after two weeks, increase dosage up to fourfold of second generation antihistamines. If symptoms persist after two to four further weeks, add third line onto second line, that is cyclosporin A, 3 to 5 mg per kg, or Montelukast, 10 mg Hs, short course, maximum 10 days of corticosteroids. Prednisolone 0.3 to 0.5 mg per kilogram. Management at tertiary care level. First line includes second generation antihistamines. If symptoms persist after two weeks, increase dosage up to four folds of second generation antihistamines. If symptoms persist after two to four further weeks, add on to second line the third line drugs such as omalizumab 300 mg subcutaneously every four weeks. O cyclosporin A or Montelukast, short course of corticosteroids for maximum 10 days can also be added. Oral or injectable corticosteroids are generally not used except in uncontrolled disease or with associated respiratory symptoms. Articaria treatment goal is disease remission, not cure.